Hey guys, I'm Jessica Napoli here at the Bentonville Film Festival in Arkansas, and I'm sitting with Jane Seymour. Jane, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, you're welcome. I'm really happy to be here. So why did you come to the Bentonville Film Festival? What is your mission? Well, um, I have a film that I'm in playing here called Pray for Rain, and, um, and also um, I made a documentary um, called Cinemability, which is about... Um, the disabilities in the cinema and in television over the years that Jenny Gold directed and I so I was asked to be on on two panels to talk about that and uh, you know I'm obviously very very interested in how we can get more work for women and more work for for minorities and for uh, people with disabilities and the theme of this panel is inclusion so how do you think Hollywood could be more inclusive I think they're trying you know, I, I find myself um, on a lot of sets now where there are women directors, women producers, women writers, women doing the heavy lifting on the camera. I mean, I'm astounded by how often I see that now. And uh, in fact, I think the film I'm on right now, I, I think half the camera department and the grips are, are women. Um, and I do see that, you know, once in a while they'll, you know, they'll, especially if you're doing a series or something, they they'll make sure that they have minorities in there and sometimes they give roles that were originally written for men and they change it to a woman. So I think they're trying. I think they can do a lot better, but they're trying. <laughs> I mean, I, I got very lucky when I did um, Dr. Quinn originally, um, no one thought it could ever work because it was a woman in the lead. And in those days, which was 24, 25 years ago, um, you know, women were not in the lead in movies or television. And you were a doctor. And I was a doctor, yes, and, and I, uh, yeah, there were, there were a lot of firsts there, you know, it's family values, moral, um, medical, um, you know, Western, 1870s, and uh, of course it was all about a, a woman, women's empowerment, really, right. that whole series. How did that role change, change your view of Hollywood and did it only make you want to take on strong female roles? I mean, you must have felt really empowered after that. It was an amazing gift. And I think, you know, when I was in the middle of it, first of all, no one ever thought it would make it as a series. So the fact it did, um, it, I was really so excited by that, not just because I was in it, but because I just felt this was a turning point. And it was because after that, they did Touched by an Angel and, and all kinds of um of television series with women in the lead and as we know there are a lot of them now a lot and I also think you know there's very few women of a certain age you know after you're 40 usually your career is done because nobody seems to be remotely interested in women after 40 but mercifully for me <laughs> uh, there's that seems to be changing too I think people are actually intrigued and interested about what happens to the baby boomers, you know, a little bit later. So I'm hoping there will be more roles or more interesting characters to play um, as a mature woman, too. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today. It was a pleasure, and good luck on your new movie and all your future endeavors. Thank you very much.